Today's episode of Funko Fever is a horror haul edition. Stay tuned for that. and welcome to what is a horror haul edition of Funko Fever. Not only is this going to be a horror haul, but I'm also going to be ranking up my six horror pops I've got. I've got about nine Funko Pops now. Uh, three of them are Doctor Who ones, but I have six that are horror. So, let's get them all ranked up so it's like my top six. So, coming in at number six is... Pinhead. This is Pinhead from Hellraiser 3. Hell on Earth. And yeah. So I got this one from um, Stop and Shop. It's a market stand in um, a shopping centre where I live called Crystal Peaks. It's um, quite a good um, place to get them because they get tons of them. And well... Um, it's like, if you want it, they got it. So, I found this one, Pinhead, for Pinhead looks good. So, I get this one. So, that's at number six, Pinhead. And at number five, number five, I'm probably going to have to put this at number five, Freddy Krueger, which I got from the same place, Crystal Peaks. And just look at it. It's greatly done. I love the bladed glove he has on, even though I don't think his arms raise up like that because it's not in the box. I don't know, yeah, if you can see it. But yeah, Freddy Krueger. Next at number four, <laughs> I'm going to go with Michael Myers. You know, I mean, it's a good one, but... Um, I like the details on all the others and that, but yeah, Michael Myers with his kit butcher's knife, if you can see it, there. And now the box. Yeah, it's a great pop, this one. I got this one at Comic Con uh, this year. Uh, I looked all over for a Jason Funko pop, and I could not find one at all. But I did find this one, so that was sort of compensation for it. Next, at number three... It is Weatherface from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre series. And closer look here. And then there he is with his chainsaw and that. Here he is out the box. And uh, round back. So yeah, Leatherface. I love the details on this one. On the mask. I love the leather mask thing. And it's like his whole head's wrapped in it. Yep. And the hair... From the little chainsaw to the necktie. Yeah, it's a great pop. Leatherface. Got this one at Crystal Peaks. I got all my horror ones at Crystal Peaks. Except for my G except for the Michael Myers one that I got from Comic Con. Number two. Pennywise. From Stephen King's It Creepy Clown. There you can see it. There he is out of the box. I like this one. He looks like... Well, he looks like Pennywise, but he's also got, like, the white eyes and the sharp teeth and stuff. Which, and also, he's, like, eyes are white. They're not black. So, yeah. And I like the clown suit he's wearing. And just before I get to number one, here's an honourable mention to my Funko keychain of Jason. There, with blood stains on it. And finally, at number one, I think you know what it is if you know me already. Jason from the Friday the 13th franchise. And here he is, if you can see him, with the machete, the coat. This is Freddy vs. Jason because it's got 
you can see New Line at the bottom because in the ni early 90s New Line Cinemas uh, bought the rights to Jason and did Jason Goes to Hell still with Kane Hodder till Freddy vs Jason Well, King Kersinger were a good Jason but I think the part should have been Kane's so yeah Jason Voorhees so that's what I've ranked up now you're probably wondering how come I not took these out of the box I don't want to really take them out of the box because call me a bit of a nerd I like to keep them in the box because I think if I take them out I'll have a quick play with them once and then never touch them again so I thought keep them in their box also you can't really move them around or stuff you know and that they're just sort of made there for I don't know ornament stuff so yeah I've got them in their box so boxes so yeah uh, those are from my favorite to least favorite they're all my favorites but with it being a ranked up top six and that I had to put them in somewhere or whatever and yeah it's great um now yeah of course in case you noticed with it being random horror I'm going to be calling myself random horror Ross and look blood stained shutters those clear ones I got I thought I'd blood stained them in fake blood to make it look more horrific so yeah I thought I'd do this video as well because none of the main shows start till tomorrow tomorrow um it will be the premiere of Dr. Fripp's band movie. So make sure you tune in for that. I'll be putting it up tomorrow. Showing it all over and that. So yeah. Um, what else is there I'm going to tell you? I think that's pretty much it really. So yeah. Monday Dr. Fripp's band movies. Uh, Tuesday. Um, Whack job psychological horrors. And then Wednesday will be, I thought about doing horror reviews, but I might actually do a filmology discussion with you, if you want to see that. Let, let me know if you like to see them, horror discussions, uh, horror franchise discussions. I'll just do one anyway this week, but yeah. Also, um, Tuesday, not Tuesday, Thursday will be Cap Dr. Freako and Captain Skullhead's TV horror shows. Where they'll be discussing TV horror shows with you and recommending them. Uh, this week I think it will be Dr. Freako. They'll be taking it turns each week. And Friday will be usual Friday face-off. But as it's a horror channel for the month. It's Fright Day face-off. Uh, still the same show. Just the name altered. Also, yeah, my channel's called Random Horror. I know it still says Random Ross. But I learned the other day. That if I did change it to random horror, which I did just as a quick test, it'll be a nightmare to change it back. I had to do this complicated process with my Google Plus profile and that to change it back. So, but you know, if you like this channel and you want to see more of it, I will do it on a more permanent basis in the new year for the premiere of Halloween in January too, because there's going to be a second series of that. Anyway, yeah, enough of me rambling on. So that has been my horror like. Funko Horror Hall slash top six Funko Pops and probably a quick update for you there. So yeah, let me know which of these Funko Pops do you like uh, in my collection. Let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it. And if you want to see more from me, then be sure to subscribe. And also, if you haven't been here before. So yeah, be sure to do all that. All my social media links are linked down below. So yeah, till next time I bid you all a goodbye friends, goodbye. <laughs>